Behind me is the new Lexus LS, and I'm going to be trying out some of its new safety kit. Not entirely sure what we're going to be doing, but there's lots of Japanese people running about excitedly, so it could be quite entertaining. Right, what we have here is something called parking assistance braking, and the idea is, is that it's going to stop you from having a car park prank. So you've got sensors in the front of the car, which will detect a wall if you try and drive into it. But they've got a new system which can also detect pedestrians. So we have a little dummy there, little little boy there in the background. And what's going to happen is this lady here, she will drive the car very carelessly forward into the wall, and the car should break, and then she'll try and reverse over the boy, and we'll see what happens. Go on then, do your worst, can you crash? No, no, that's quite close actually, that's really handy. But this is the killer question, and it could quite literally be killer. Can she not hit the little boy? That actually leaves quite a bit of distance, doesn't it? So, yeah, he, he's, he's all right, thank God. The LS has another cool feature which helps you see behind you better. You can flip the rear view mirror to give a digital display from a camera on the back of the car. And then there's the new driving assistance systems. So we're all used to cruise control, active cruise control, which keeps you safe distance from the car in front and lane keeping assist, which this LS has. Look, there we go, it's doing me around this, this bend here on the motorway. But this car can do something different. It can actually change lanes for you have to wait until everything's good. It is now, and if I just press this indicator down, it should recognize and change lanes. It's braking automatically, but also changing lanes, and it disengaged because my hands weren't on the wheel. I wasn't holding the wheel tight enough. Now, that does beg the question of, why not just change lanes myself then, if I'm having to steer it a bit? So, there we go, it's sort of doing it. I'm gonna keep my hands off the wheel just so you can see what is going on, and it did it. I must say, I'm not entirely sure it's that useful. I'll do it again. So I press the indicator down a bit. The car saw that there was something in my blind spot so it wouldn't engage the lane change. If it clears, it might allow it to happen. So I'm just gonna wait patiently. Hopefully you'll be patient and won't click out the video. Come on, car. There is space now. There is clearly space, do it. This man doesn't come as standard with the car, so if it doesn't work, he, he won't be there to help you out like he is to help me out. So come on. Come on, car. It's doing it now. I've got to put a bit of steering input in so that it doesn't think I've fallen asleep behind the wheel. Now I'm going to move it back from where I did come. There we go. Come on. You can see it's steering. And there we go. It works. Not entirely sure it's worthwhile. I do like pilot assist where it keeps you in lane, but that, I think it's just easier to go, yes, it's safe. Oh, well, I'm gonna change lanes myself. Much easier. The LS also features a safety system called Driver Emergency Stop Assist. It can spot if the driver has become incapacitated. If you don't respond, it's supposed to issue a warning, then put the car's hazard lights on to warn other drivers, and then keep you in lane and bring you to a steady stop in the middle of the lane before calling the emergency services. So, does it work? Let's see how long I can drive no-handed with lane assist on. Oh no, no, it's gonna disengage. What's gonna happen when it disengages? Oh no! No driver's operation, hold the steering wheel. Sorry guys, we're gonna die. It's still doing it. Or is that just because we're on a straight road? I don't know. Hold steering wheel, stopping support will be activated soon. It actually thinks that I've died, so it's gonna shut down the car, it's put the winkers on, and it's gonna bring it to a standstill. Oh, that is cool, because sometimes, like, these cars just disengage the system and you're on your own. At least this supports you and it should bring it to a standstill when it's safe to do so. Look, it's still steering. <laughs> I don't see a problem with this. I can just put up with the noise. Oh no, it's steering into the barrier. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, eventually it does disengage. Thing is, it shouldn't have done. The driver emergency stop assist should have kept me in lane until the car had stopped safely. However, I've tried many assistance systems from many manufacturers and none are totally faultless all of the time. And in my opinion, this suggests that full autonomous driving 